it's uh whoa <laughs> it's minda with the cemetery club.com and uh, i dig cemeteries uh, my channel here on youtube and i'm coming to you live at least live for me uh from the beautiful hampton inn and suites in cedar rapids iowa and today i wanted to show you um, one of the cool things that I got when my family and I were in St. Louis last weekend. We went to uh, Bell Fountain Cemetery, which was fantastic. I really wish we could have spent more time there, but we just couldn't. And it was really, really, really hot. But it is really beautiful, and I definitely think you should go there if you get the chance. Uh, I'll talk about that a little more later, but uh, right now I just wanted to tell you about this product that I got. It is an architectural vocabulary, and this, this is a set of knowledge cards, and it's really, really, really cool. And I hope this doesn't come out backwards for you when, I'm, when it shows, but if it does, I'll walk you through it. Anyway, these, it comes in a, a set of cards. I got this, actually, at the Arch, at the St. Louis Gateway Arch. And it was, uh, I guess, you know, it's an architectural feat, so why not have architecture? Anyway, comes with a whole big set of cards here. And I thought this would be great for any cemetery people because we can, if you really aren't well versed in everything that has to do with architecture, this gives you some basics like a portico. So now you know what a portico looks like, and then when you turn it over, it gives you more information, which is very cool. So portico from the Italian, portico. A colonnaded porch or ambulatory consisting of a roof supported by columns, usually attached to a building, but sometimes forming a separate structure. Classical porticos come in three main forms. Pro style, the most common, and it goes to talk a little more about that, in antis, the columns are set between the ante and engaged. The columns are set into the front wall of the building. And there's a little more information on here too, but yeah, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, not only are they really nice cards, they're also laminated. So they'll hold up. Let's see, here's, another, here's an example of an arch, which is fitting since I bought it at the arch. This is arch two, the two centered arch, and it gives you a little more information. And then here's, oh, I don't know, edicule, ediculi. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's Latin. I didn't take Latin, even though they still taught Latin when I was in high school. Does that tell you how old I am? little bit. Uh, so anyway, this is some type of little miniature thing. I haven't looked at these a whole lot, but I still think they're going to be really cool. And here's one, the Corinthian order. I think these are going to be, this is what really got my attention, was the ones where they talk about, you see that? It's kind of weird lighting in here, hotel lighting, you know. But to tell you the different parts of the columns and what they mean. I mean, we hear about and see the acanthus a lot when we're out in the cemetery. So I just thought these would be really, really cool. So I suggest if you're interested in learning a little more about architecture and you want something that's quick and easy to take with you, or you want you know crazy playing cards and want to figure out how to play a crazy game, then it's $9.95 well spent for you if you shop at the Arch. Otherwise, if you don't shop at the Arch, you can probably find them or find out where they sell them at www.pomegranate.com. So P O M E G R A N A T E.com. And these come out of Portland, Oregon. So anyway, look for them an architectural vocabulary knowledge cards. So I imagine they have other things that you can be knowledgeable about. So that's my review for tonight. I hope this is helpful to you. And 
that you like my brand new grainy looking studio in the Hampton Inn. So, okay, Hampton Inn, you can give me a free room now because I am talking about you. And it's actually a very, very nice room. We got a suite, we got a good price on it. It's got a nice bed, which is the most important thing when you're staying at a hotel. And if you travel with a six, almost seven year old, it is very important to have a pool that's bigger than this set of cards. The last hotel we stayed in, in St. Louis, nice little hotel, but the pool was, it had a maximum of 28 people. It was about the size of two hot tubs. And when there were five people in the pool, it was really, really, really crowded. So it's a nicer, bigger pool at this one. So my daughter's excited. She's with her daddy downstairs, and I'm just hanging out up here, just kind of kicking back and enjoying the quiet. Any of you have six-year-olds, you know they're not very quiet, but I love them. Okay, everybody, have a great one, and I hope you're all having fun in the cemeteries. Um, and welcome to all the new people that have joined the group. We have got so many people in the Facebook group now. It's really exciting, and I can't wait to see the pictures that you post and the things that you share with us. So you guys take care, and happy cemetery haunting.